ladies and gentlemen dear butterfly viewers welcome to my channel your channel our channel on the microphone my name is eric m7 rugamga In this episode, we have covered a story of a young entrepreneur and fashion designer, Wase Ange, a Congolese by nationality, living in Kenya as a refugee. From a humble beginning, now she owns two shops in Nairobi and both selling clothes. One in Karini, Lower Prince, another in Muiki, near Kayole Umoja stage. You are welcomed at Wase Fashion's show. Stay tuned, watch, enjoy the story, and get inspired. Hello? 
amapanaro y'abahungu harimo ayigihumbi hari igihumbi magana biri hari ama t-shirt ya magana inani hari ayigihumbi amashati ni igihumbi ibere bisanzwe nk'iby'abandi ya imyenda y'abakobwa nayo ifite ibiciro byayo abakiriro n'abahita bakuri eh abakiriya bose ndabiyegereje kabisa mutugane wase fashion shop ibyo mushaka twabibagezaho byose murakoze umunsi n'umwanzi bizashara biragenda ya ni gore gore biragenda biragenda eh nkuko wavuze wahagaritse ibintu byinshi n'amasomo yawe kugira ngo uze wikorere ukore ibijyanye n'inzo zizawe ukunda ese kurongo ababyeyi iyo babonye ibintu z'ukora aho bimaze kugira babifata bute cyangwa se n'icyo ubwiye ah barabyishimira kuko nabo hari byinshi bakira bivuye muri ibi ngiye bisaba barabyishimira ya ndagira ubwira abantu wenda ko bashobora kwamba bakeneye byo kuguha kwa mara bakeneye kubamba corona haro gucuruza bino hari no kwamba abantu service za stade Okay, tukambika abantu bagiye mu bukwe ugiye mu bukwe udashaka kwambara costume wagurisha ati sanzwe hari ukuntu cyo kwikwambika twebwe igasa neza ukayijyana mu bukwe abagiye mu birori mwatugana tukabambika abafite video z'indirimbo nabo turabambika ku bahanzi ndetse nabandi bantu bose batandukanye ugiye mu birori abashaka gusohokana nababo ya tukambika buri wese so guys mutugane wase fashion shop kugira ngo tubambike mukiye kandi mugende ahantu musa neza urakaze Hi Ange. How are you? Good, how are you? Yes, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice too. Yeah. How is the 2021 is taking you? I think it's normal just like how 2020 was taking me but Okay. So many things changed. Okay. So thank you for accepting our invitation and you come to speak to our audience so that they can know you we are having this platform just to uh to showcase what young people from the refugee community are doing in the, not only the refugees because we do host other people from who are not refugee and refugees so can you please tell us about yourself about myself uh, my name is Wasi Angel. i'm a fashion designer and i'm an entrepreneur uh, I think that is it. <laughs> so, Ange, yeah. what is your nationality or which country do you come from? I'm from Congo. Exactly where do you come from? Oh, okay, in, in Sit Kivu, yeah, DRC Congo. That's okay. my country. So, tell, tell us about, a bit about your story. How long have you been here in Kenya? Mm. Yeah, and okay. What happened? to leave my country actually in my country we don't have security and uh they are I, I can say i can't stay there because some people of us are dead so that's why i came from my country to kenya so how many how long time have you been here only three years three years yeah. 
So we come to visit you and just to get to know more and also to let our audience get to know more about Ange as an entrepreneur. So please tell us how this inspiration or what we are doing, how that is, did this started? Okay, I started being a fashion designer when I was young. Like, I used to tell my mom and dad, I don't like, I don't like going to school. I just want to be a fashion designer. Then my dad refused. So I came out of, out of the school. I refused to go back. So that's how I started. So you dropped the school? Yeah, because I didn't what? want to study. I wanted yeah. to be a fashion designer like my mom. Yeah, so that's how I started my life. So after dropping the school, what what so what what was next? After dropping the school, I came in Kenya. I was working for someone. Then after there, I opened my shop. So yeah. So you were working for some a, a person here in Kenya or back home? No, I was working for a person here in Kenya. Yes. Uh, she is a Kenyan. Yeah. So how was it working for someone? Then you, how the idea came for just starting your own business? Okay, I used to work for her then and save some money for my own self. So she gave me an idea to open the job. So I was like, yeah, I can do it. She told me, what do you like in your life? I said, I want to be a fashion designer. So she told me, yeah, you can use that chance if you have, you know how you can do your job. So I started to save money. Actually, I started when I was selling apples. So after those apples, I came into the shop. So yeah, I think that's it. So for how many, how long time have you been doing that job for that person? For that person, uh, I think it's one year. One year? Yeah. Then you decided to start your own business. Yeah. Tell us a bit. Uh, that was the the main idea you had back home when you were, you, you dropped the school, you're yeah. saying you want to be a fashion. Mm. So have you went to study or for trainings just to make sure you study what you are doing? No, I didn't. Actually, it's like uh, it was in my blood. I, I didn't study to be a fashion designer. It's like I used to some, to see my mom doing do, designing some plots, and yeah, that's how I started. Like I was like I have to do it, but I didn't go to school to study. Okay, so by we, in which class did you stop? <laughs> no, 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 that's a secret. I can't. But you, you finished high school, right? Uh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was in, five, in form five. Form five. Yeah, in Uganda. Why, why couldn't couldn't you continue till you finish high school? Then you. No, you no. Go actually, that. I didn't want to finish because I was like, I have to use my chance before. Yeah. Uh, you could have been using it after the school. Why? Why no, didn't actually, wait? Actually, uh, okay. I like using my hands, not using some. Uh, do you know when you are studying? Some of us we have. I will be a doctor, yeah. I will be an entrepreneur, maybe I will be a teacher, yeah. but I didn't want to be in those ones. I just wanted to use my own hands and work hard. That's why I dropped the school. So how was the experience for the first time mm -hmm. opening the shop? Actually, it was too hard. I started, I opened the, I don't know, we can call it a kibanda, something like that. Kibanda? Yeah, yes. that's how I started with two boxes of apples so I, w I used to sell those apples and I was working for someone so I got someone to be selling then after there I opened the shop actually I gave some uh, I told one of my friend he is my best friend I told him an idea then he told me he can help me so yeah he's the one who helped me to get into that shop how much was the uh estimate if you can estimate how much was the capital for you to start the that show the first shop uh, actually it was uh, it's a lot of money it's a lot of money yeah estimate between hand uh, 50 between 15 and 100,000 or more about more more, more 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 oh that's a lot of money yeah it's a lot of money because uh, the time I was opening the shop you know you have to rent deposit yeah. and work into the shop yes putting those uh, stuff there yeah and buying the clothes so it was very hard so Actually, you, it's a lot of money so you've been able to open your first shop yeah. through the support for, of that person yeah okay so how was it 
for the first month, the second month, the, th the third month, how was it going, the business? Okay, actually, as a newcomer. As a newcomer in the business, yeah. okay, it was like, I used to see it's not going well, but uh, do you know, I used to say maybe it's because I love doing it, it will just push up, because I was like, if I give up right now, if I, if I give up, it will not be good. But I didn't give up. I continue selling slowly, slowly, like how the people are selling now. Yeah. So what, what is the major uh, uh, challenges uh, okay. at your first time? At my first time? Yeah. Okay, I used to see some custom yeah. and they said, no, this one is not good. Uh, it's an old fashion. Yeah. What was, yeah, those are the challenges. And sometimes you sell something and... Uh, when you sell that thing, some of our customer came back and say, "No, this is bad." Ikonarangi, mm. uh, something like that. Yeah, those are the challenges. Okay, but yeah. you decided, or you you became determined, yeah, and you continue the business. Yeah, because if you give up when you're doing something, you don't have to give up. So if you give up when you're starting, that means you can't even go very far. So yes. if you don't give up in your life. That it can help you and push you. Where did you start it? Exactly the location where the first shop in was Risambo. started. Norisambo. Yeah. Try to just locate uh, okay. people Risambo who are. Risambo here Risambo. to seasons. Yeah. So uh, is there the shop there, or have you moved to another place? Okay. Tell us how is the business now. Okay, the one in Risambo, I moved into Karen. Yeah, so for now I have only the one in Karen and here, Amuki, the and small one now. The small one in Amuki. Yeah. So why did you close the Rissambo shop and move to Karen? It's because Karen had more uh, customers yeah. or clients. Mm -hmm. Then uh, what what made you to decide and move there? Okay, uh, the thing made me to move, it's because in Karen, they have money, they have so many people, they don't have like so many shops. It's like they have only malls and whatever, they don't have the small shops. So I was like, if I put that shop, maybe they'll be buying, let me try. Do you know when you're going to do something, you have to try everywhere. Yeah. So how, what are the feedback do you get or do you receive from your fellow colleagues and people from your community because a lot of them don't believe that a young girl <laughs> can start her own business. Okay, they always tell me congratulations, you're so hardworking, yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. No one ne get, get you, gave you nervous uh, okay, feedback? Okay, some, some people they always give me like, how a young girl, you can go to school, stop doing that, then I can't stop because it's my dream yes. and I want to reach very far, so I don't have to stop. If someone tells me that I have to stop, I always give her an advice so he can work or she can work for her own self. Yeah. So what would you like to tell other girls outside there just to be self-dependent? Okay, uh, the thing I can tell them, what a man can do, yeah. a woman can do better. So they have to be strong and uh, get on the, their own dreams because like if you have a dream and you're not working for that dream uh, i used to see people saying that maybe god will do this and this he can't help you without your support yeah. you have to help yourself before and god help you second so i can tell them work hard and be girls no don't be boys be girls and don't allow boys to tell you that you can't do this for me I can do this yeah. if a boy can drive you can also do that so that's how i can tell them yeah <laughs> also don't hard. depend on me their yeah, husband yeah, and don't give up don't allow someone to tell you don't do this and this and this if you just put your know, like what's uh, uh some words in your in your head i don't know how i can yeah. i can explain do you know when someone is telling you if you do this you will go here if you do this and you no 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 don't go on those mushene. yeah try your, <laughs> so your try, try your and best follow your base and your, try to reach on yeah. your own dream and you uh, you just when you're doing something you have to have a focus because if you're not focusing for anything you can't work hard yeah. try and uh uh, tell your our followers who would like just to come to your shop to be your customers uh, try to tell them where you are located exactly where the shops are located okay uh, so guys welcome to uh, fashions here in wiki uh, and those ones who are in karen you can just follow me in karen lower plains 
number 21 there. I have another shop for guys who are very far. So welcome to my shop and come and visit us and see what we have. Yeah, we can they, serve you. Yeah, the Mwiki <laughs> shop, Mickey, uh, can you also direct them? Okay, uh, some of people they know where this stage is of going Kayole yeah. to the place called Mainomagoro in front there. Can find me there. Okay. And if you don't have my number, I guess you're going to give it to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I will post there. But for business purpose only. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not another thing. Only for the business. Okay. They will be just call those numbers yeah. down on the screen for business purpose. Yeah. Please don't call contact her <laughs> for another another thing. For if you out. No, no, yeah. No, no. Only for those ones who want to buy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the, your dreams? What do you plan in the future? Mm, I have so many things. <laughs> yeah, try and share us the little one, two, three of your okay, dreams. Uh, my first dream is to save people. Like, I don't know if you saw the status. I, I put it on my status. Yeah, yeah to help people, those ones who doesn't have their parents, and those ones who doesn't have the, how can I say <laughs> Who doesn't help so you want to help to people? Yeah, just want to help people. Mm. Uh, my second dream, I want to build so many houses for those people to stay. Yeah. My third dream, I want to also build for my family, my mother yeah. and my dad, yeah. and buy them. Like, I have so many dreams in my head. Yeah. Uh, the fourth dream, I want to save my country. If I would have that uh, energy, I can do it. By the way, you, you've mentioned that and I remembered that you really love supporting people uh, in whatever they are doing, yeah. uh, except that, that kind of helping uh, street children. I saw you doing it uh, uh, one day. Uh, what, uh, what was about that uh, event, uh, visiting street children? And why is it because you, you like doing it uh, and you plan to do it to expand it or, or whatever can you tell about it okay uh helping people it's like it was my dream even before i used to tell my dad i want to help people i want to share with those people i want to uh, i remember one day my dad was mad at me because i shared i shared that is it a sweet i don't remember with a street boy he was young so i was like i want to share with him with him a sweetie so i want to help people like I want to expand it and be like my, I don't know how I can tell it. So I make it a big uh, organization yeah, or yeah, big yeah, uh, Nini family. Yeah. Actually, I always do it, but that was my first time to post a video. Yeah. Actually, I'm not the one who posted that video first. Yes. Uh, one, of, one of my friends, he was behind me. I didn't saw she's there, so she's the one who was taking a video. Yeah. Yeah, so I always do that, but I like helping people, like those ones. Do you do you think one day it will be for a foundation or, or an organization? Okay, actually, I'm going to do it soon. I, I posted that thing. Yeah. It's it's a uh, was a Fred Foundation. Okay. Yeah. Where comes the name Fred? <laughs> is your fiance? Is your boyfriend? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> is your boyfriend? Yeah. So you have already started partnering together. <laughs> hey, that's amazing. That's amazing. That. Okay, so, okay, uh, as in short, yeah, also he, he liked helping people. Yes. So it was his dream to get someone who has like the same heart. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you like to do? Your hobby or, yeah, what do you like to do in, in life? Okay, in life, like with life, Please try, home yeah, in a, in a normal life, okay, like I when at, you are at home, what, whatever you like based more than other things. Cleaning. <laughs> Cleaning. Yeah. Uh, the second? Cooking. Cooking. Mm -hmm. Do you not okay to cook well? Yeah, actually, I started. Uh, I started um, cooking. So I used to. I, I used. I used to. I used to do cooking and baking. Yeah, catering and baking. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I like so cooking. what's your favorite fa favorite food? What's your favorite food? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. Not ugari? No. Don't you like ugari? Mm -mm. But do you know to cook ugari? Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, what uh, I want uh, to you to give uh, like as we came to an end of this interview, mm. uh, inspire or say some word to young people, yeah. 
from the refugee community, mostly girls okay. who don't trust. Mostly the refugee young girls yeah. who don't trust or who don't believe in themselves that they can do great things. Okay. Say someone to encourage and to inspire them okay. as someone who have made a step. Okay, uh, what I can tell them, when, when we born, you don't know that you're going to study in this school or you're going to eat this food or you're going to do whatever. So what I can tell them is to work hard and reach on their own dreams. Because uh, today, if I don't work, my mom will not work for me. Maybe I'll build a family. But in our culture, they always see like to get married, it's only that. So what I can tell them, guys, I'm not going to tell you don't go and get married, but work hard and be who you want to be. Don't be someone's name, be yourself. Yeah. So you have to work hard and work for your family or work for your dreams and work for your another family which will come. Yeah. So don't get married when you don't have money, when you don't have what. Actually, for the girls, guys, work hard. These boys are... I don't know. They're working hard, but they they can see us like people. Yeah. <laughs> they already see us like young. So young. they will respect you. Yeah. So they have the to way work you hard. work. Yeah. yeah. They have to work hard so that you can have a respect also. Yeah. Yeah. So in a business perspective, what is your dream? Do you think to open more shops? Do you plan to have big shops like malls? My plan is to be a big fashion designer. Yeah, build, I will build so many shops and so many malls and also I want to be designing so uh, so many stars mm. in Africa and um, in America, yeah. Okay, what, who, is the, who is your favorite artist in, in Africa? In Africa? Yeah. Mm, my favorite, girls or boys? <laughs> Whoever. so many artists, I don't know what I can tell you. Uh, three of them, mention uh, three of them. at least okay, three. In boys, I like Mehdi, yes. in the band, and Diamond. Diamond? Yeah. Those are your favorite artists yeah. uh, on the main side? Oh uh, yeah. So on the side of girls? Uh, on the side of girls, I like Rema, and Nadi, and um, in Randa, I like Norris. Tupona in that, uh, I have seen you just uh, presenting yourself as a journalist. Do you do journalism? Uh, can you tell about that talent of your of yours? <laughs> yeah, yes, I do that. That's my talent. I'm an in entrepreneur. Yeah, I just work like on so many channels. Mm, uh, the first time I was, I worked on, uh, is it Imhira Pro? The second time on Kenya Mkwengo TV. The same time on Mahoro TV, uh, GM TV, so... Um, so you don't have a specific yeah, channel that way you work? Yeah, I have a channel, but I always put only the uh, short movies. I'm working to the movie, so I don't have to mix the things. Do you also uh, act? You're yeah, an actor? Yeah. So can you tell about it also? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have so many talents, guys. Huh? Okay, I have so many talents. Yeah. Actually, it's a story I wanted to share to people. So I, so I can share to people that story, like using someone to record me or what. So I, so I can just play it like a movie and act. Yeah, it's called Wafa Kurira. But I'm, I'm not in that movie. I'll be there when I grow up. Yeah. Someone is, is acting for me like a young person, so yeah. But you are the one who wrote the script. Yeah. And uh, who the story? What the story was is about? Okay, the story is about like some parents, they always take their kids, like maybe someone has a talent and they take it like she's not uh, like they want her to be in the church and she's uh, an artist. So they don't like her or, she, or him doing that talent where maybe she's a dancer, they will see it like so they want, uh, they want the parents want them to follow what, to follow they, what, what they, they want, want yeah, not and, what they, and they young have man. so many talents yes. so we want to use our talent but the parents are like they don't want us to use our talent so 
that's the movie. I was just I wanted to share the story, like what happened to me. My dad wanted me to go in school and finish and have a diploma or whatever. But for me, I didn't want to do what that yeah. he wanted. Yeah. And he was like, "Go if you don't want to be to be what I want. You have to go and work for your own life." But for now, he's the one now clapping the hands. Yeah. He's happy for me. Yeah. So is it is this uh, based on your real story or you have seen for other people no, it's, happen? No, uh, okay, it's on my real story, but I saw that in our culture. Yeah, in our culture, we don't take a talent like something big or something mm. which we can give a respect. Mm. We always take a talent like someone who is a rascal, who lost, who, who, lost. Lost, who doesn't know what mm. he's doing or mm. what she's doing. Yeah. And actually, the talent is a good thing. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see diamond. He had so many money for now because he worked. He he used the talent. Yeah. Medi and what what so yeah. many art, artists they used the talent. So for us in our culture, we don't take a talent. They don't like value a, a talent. Yeah, we don't value our uh, the talent. So yeah. So I saw a, f a photo of you mm. uh, went viral yeah. where when you addressed uh, Nini address of your country flag. What was the <laughs> the the purpose of doing that okay, or what, uh, what was the message the message is be proud of who you are if you're from Rwanda be proud of Rwanda if you're from America be proud of America if you're from I don't know Tanzania be proud of who you are so that's why I was wearing the flag of my country I'm proud of my country yeah Okay, that's what the message you wanted that's to the send to other wanted people. To, to tell people, you have to be proud of you because some of us, yeah. when they go somewhere, they always say that we are from Rwanda. How can you say you're from Rwanda? And you're not from Rwanda. You have to say I'm from Congo. It's Just because people look the, the similar, the face are yeah, all, all, almost the same. The same in the <laughs> yeah. language we speak, the same yeah. language. So you don't have to say I'm from in this country. Yeah. If you're a Kenyan, be a Kenyan. Yeah. Don't be another person. Yeah. You have to be proud of your country. That's why I did that to tell people you have yes. to be proud of who you are. Yeah. Angie, thank you very much for uh, allowing to talk to us. And I hope our audience have get, have learned something about your story and what you are doing. The last word just to, as we, we end up. Oh, thank you so much also for coming. <laughs> yeah. Do you know do you know about Bortopla? But then Do you know about Bortopla TV? No. <laughs> Actually it's my first time. I saw I saw someone using I saw someone sending me a channel yes. but I didn't follow yeah. So have you never yet subscribed to my channel? Imagine no. <laughs> I'll get it when you send me this guy, 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 guy. Okay, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Welcome. Okay.